Oh my god, guys. Welcome to today's video in which we're going to be talking about repeating decimals and how to express fractions as repeating decimals. Before we begin with the video, guys, please, please, it would mean the world to me if you hit that subscribe button and that like button, as well as that notification button. That way you are notified every single time Oh my god uploads a video. So guys, without further ado, let's begin. Oh my god. Hello guys, welcome to today's video in which we're going to be learning about what are repeating decimals. Let's begin. So guys, the first thing we're going to be learning about is the definition of a repeating decimal. So what is a repeating decimal? Well, a repeating decimal is a decimal number, right, where the decimal part repeats the same digit sequence over and over again, right? So again, it's a number where the decimal part repeats the same digit sequence over and over again. So it doesn't necessarily mean that it's just going to be one single digit, but it means that the digits that repeat are going to be repeating over and over again. Okay, so, so let's see some examples. So example A is 1.65555. So again, whenever we have a number like this, we have one, two, three, four fives, and we see this three decimal points, that suggests that the number is going to continue. So that number is going to be six, five, 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 five. Because this five is going to repeat over and over and over again, we know that it is a repeating decimal. It's non-terminating, right? Whenever we have a repeating decimal, another thing that we can do instead of putting these three points at the end of the number is that we can simply just write the number that is going to be repeating with a line on top. And that is going to indicate that that number is going to start a sequence where that number is going to repeat. So for example, that's in this case is 165 and the line drawn on top of the five, right? So we're gonna have a second example. For example, 0 0.0666. Again, that six that is continuously repeating can be written down as 0 0,06. And again, a line on top of the six because the six is the number that is repeating, right? But what is if we have more than one number that is repeating, like the one we see here, 53.1242424244, that means that the two and the four are going to be repeating in a loop. So again, that sequence is going to start over and over again. So in this case, two of those numbers are repeating, right? So we're going to write a line on top of the two and the four so that we don't have to write them down over and over again and that we don't have to write down the three dots, right? So very, very useful. Again, when you see that line on top of the decimal number, you know that that number is going to be repeating. Now, repeating decimals can be shown as fractions because after all, they are rational numbers. Again, you have to remember that the concept of rational numbers means that they can be written down as a fraction of P divided by Q. So we have three examples here. So we have 13 divided by 99, right? And that is a fraction and is a rational number. And we have two thirds when we, two six, when whenever we divide it by two, we have a one here and a three here, so that is equal to one third. So it can be expressed both ways. And we have example C, which is 56 divided by nine, okay? So again, we're gonna see that these three cases, we can actually find out the answer and write them down as rational numbers, but also repeating decimals. Let's begin. This example we have is, 13 divided by 99, right? So when we do that, um, we have 99 and we have 13. So it's zero times 99, that's zero. We subtract, that's 13. We had a comma, now it's 130, that's one. One times 99 is 99, we subtract. 
and we get a 1 here and a 3 here so it's 31 and now we add a 0 and that's going to be 3 so 3 times 9 is 27 3 times 9 is 27 plus 2 is going to be 29 and that's going to be 13 again so 13 we add a 0 divided by 99 that's 1 1 by 99 is 99 when we subtract that's going to be 31 and we can add a 0 again and then 310 divided by 99 that's going to be 3 when multiplied we have 297 and as you can see guys we're going to get the same residual over and over again so in this case we got 13 here we got 31 here we got 13 again here we got 31 and here we got 13 again so as you can see we're going to repeat the remainders over and over again but we're also going to be repeating these two numbers right so that means that the number is going to continue repeating over and over again in order to write that down in order to write down that number 0 0.13 what we do is that we just simply take that 0 0.13 and we draw a line on top of the 1 and the 3. Why both? Because both numbers are going to be repeating. So that means that the first answer is 0 0.13 and a line on top of both, right? Now let's try 2 divided by 6 or 1 divided by 3. So again, 1 divided by 3, that is going to be 0. 0 times 3 is 0. We add a comma and that's 10. 10 divided by 3 is 3, we get a 9, we subtract and it's a 1, we add a 0 because we already have the comma, and that's 3, we subtract is 9, 1, 0, 10 divided by 3, that's 3, and as you can see, you're going to get the same residual over and over again, and you're also going to be getting the very same number over and over again so it's 0 0.333 and the 3 is going to continue but because we don't want to write that down an infinite number of times what we can do is we just write 0 comma 3 and a line on top of it because we know that the 3 is going to repeat right so that's something that you have to take into account for you not to continue dividing um, for a long time right now, the last one we have is 56 divided by 9, right? In the first two cases, we had 0 point something or 0 comma something. That doesn't necessarily mean that a number of uh, rational repeating decimal cannot be over 0. Yes, it can. For example, 56 divided by 9, we know that's 6 because 6 times 9 is 54. We subtract and that's a 2. So we add a comma and that's 20. 20 divided by 9, that is 2. 2 times 9 is 18. And we get a 2 and we add a 0. 20 divided by 9, that's 2. When multiplied, 18. And again, we get the same number over and over again. And we continue adding 2s. And the remainder is going to be 2, 2, 2, 2. And we are going to keep adding 2s for a long, long time here. So what we can do is that we can just write the same number and write a line on top of the number that is repeating. So that means that we're not going to take longer and we can write down six comma two and the line on top of the two. And that's pretty much it guys. So again, try solving these problems over and over again. Try practicing those divisions and write these decimal numbers and understand that whenever you put a line on top of them you're actually saying that those are repeating decimals. Feel free to re-watch the video if you don't understand something and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys! Check out these other videos to improve your math skills and make sure you click that subscribe button to make the community grow. Follow Omath God in its social media accounts, drop a like, a comment below and see you on the next one. Bye!